Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Nana, and today I thought we will be doing a fun reading vlog, I guess. So we'll be doing, a, I'll be reading books that is based on my zodiac sign, I am a Leo, August 19th. So when I think about Leo, I think about loyal, fierce, warm, confident, a spotlight, attention seeker, those things, courageous. So I think about those things about Leo. So I thought I would read the books I will be reading to you. They sound pretty interesting. So we will see if, if it will matches with Leo. My next book is Mademoiselle Revolution by Zoe Simak. Sylvie Donaziz, as the daughter of a rich planter and an enslaved woman, enjoys the comforts of a lady in 1791 Saint Dominique society. But why she was but while she was born to privilege, she was never fully accepted by island elites. After a violent rebellion, lives beyond, behind to flee and unwittingly into another uprising in Austin and radical Paris. Sylvie quickly becomes an enamored with the aims of the revolution as well as with the revolutionaries, most notably Maximilian. Rob Spenny and his mistress, Cornelia Duplay. I will actually be reading this on audiobook, and this is City of Ghosts by Elizabeth Gilbert. In 1940, 19-year-old Vivian Morris has just been kicked out of Vassar College, owing, her lack, owing to her lackluster freshman year performance. Her affluent parents sent her to Manhattan to live with her aunt Peg, who owns a flamboyant, crumbling midtown theater called a Lily Playhouse. Then Vivian is introduced to an entire cosmos of unconventional charismatic characters, from the fun-chasing showgirls to a sexy male actor, a grand dame actress, a lady killer writer, and no nonsense stage manager. But when Vivian makes a personal mistake that results in a professional scandal, it turns her new world upside down in ways that it will take her years to fully understand. Ultimately, though, it leads her to a new understanding of the kind of life she craves and the kind of freedom it takes her to pursue it. It will also lead to a love of a life, a love that stands out from all the rest. So, so far, I have... So, that sounds really, really good. I'm excited to read it, and I'll be taking you along the journey. So, why don't we head start and see what these books take us. I love my new phone case. Like, look at my new phone case. Ah, it's so pretty. I'll leave the phone case down below if I can find it. It's so pretty. So far, it's interesting. It's kind of a quick read. The chapters are short. Um, it's interesting and, and a little bit hard to read because it does talks about slaves and how it was at that time with the slaves. Um, so it's a little bit of a hard read. We already encountered a really brutal death of a slave. 
So it was actually really hard for me to read it. Like the like just of how that bad was executed. Um so that was really hard to read. Um but so far I I do like the book where it's taking. Um I have yet to know if I like the main character Sylvie. Um she seems promising so I hope she will continue to stay that way throughout the book. But yeah, so those are my thoughts as of now. So not much update as I have read not a whole lot, so but it is quite a fa fast to read. The chapters are really short, so yeah, the deaths are gonna be brutal in this book, I can tell, but we will see how that goes. <laughs> So it's a little bit later and it's night 18. I haven't read much. I'm up this much, so nothing too crazy. I've been cleaning the house, I've been editing for tomorrow's vlog. So I'll admit a sneak peek, but I will still read before going to bed. Um, I still like it so far, but I haven't read that much, so yeah. So I'm still gonna read and all that stuff, but it's just been a long day today, so yeah, so that's my update, and um, I don't have too much up to update, but I just thought in to pop in to say some stuff, so yeah, all that fun stuff, and I will just read some more before going to bed, I will still read before going to sleep, so let's go from there. For my event, I actually went to look at once upon a Christmas event at Heritage Park. That was when I told you at 10 a.m. So I got back home at like 2 30 ish and then we ate. So now it's 6 32 right now. 6 22. I only read that much. So I bought 30% in. I'm still liking it. I'm still liking the characters. I'm still liking the stuff line. So. Yeah, I don't have too much to update because I haven't been on for the whole day, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to finish the book soon, and my two audiobooks, so that's the plan, but um, yeah, so that's my update, I don't have too much to update, so yeah, I'm, I'm also editing my stories, so this is my edits. All these red marker lines, if you can see, like that. And this is for my editor. So, yeah. That's how editing looks like. And you can accept that changes or you can reject. But, yeah, so I'm juggling two things at once. <laughs> so, all that fun stuff. Um, but, yeah, I also will continue to read. I will see you guys later. Okay, hi guys. It's the next day, so. I have read like that much left. I, I, I actually realize it's kind of dragging now, because when I went to the Saint Dominique when they had lived it, it was kind of dra a really quick pace. They kind of just got brushed over, and then when we went to France, it's kind of dragging. So I don't know, but even the other book it also has a little bit long pages too. I've started to realize it's, the pages are getting longer now, but. Okay, hi guys, it's the next day, so I have actually started reading The City of Ghosts. It kind of reminds me of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It has that same vibe kind of thing, so 
I personally enjoyed this one than Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm about 71% as you can see right there. So it's not that bad. So I, I do prefer this one so it seems more fun and it does expose some of like, the dark side of certain things and how they get what they need. It does the, like touch on that as well but um yeah so it's for my other book I'm about that much 65 percent give or take so I'm close to reading my books I had so um yeah so it's exciting I don't want to give my review soon on everything but it's fun so also I kind of feel like a little bit weird in the throat um I hope I'm not getting sick. I really don't want to be sick, so I'm eating ginger and honey. They're supposed to be really good for the throat, so. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of getting sick, y'all. I hate winter. <laughs> so, welcome to Canada, I guess. So, uh, winter is brutal here. I hate it. But, but so far, we actually had a pretty nice winter so far. I'm probably gonna drink it and be like, hey, just kidding, and we're back to minus 30, so that's fun. Uh, Celsius. We are Celsius, we're not Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, I know what those days to come. Ugh, man. Anyways, I'm gonna continue to read probably my audiobook or my physical book, um, Madame, Mademoiselle Revolution. I might finish my physical book because I'm so close. But yeah, that's the update I have so far, and we shall see from there. Okay, hey guys, it's the next day. I just finished setting up goals. I thought it was good. There were some parts that were really hard to read. Um, but um, it's definitely a bittersweet ending, so I, I thought the book was great. And also, I really liked this one better than Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I thought what they did was... I thought the author did a good job of the book. Um, I thought everything was great. I liked how the author showed the struggles and like how it was all great and then the scandal happened and everything was not so great. I thought the author did that part really well, so it was really, really nice. So there was a lot of sex in there, so, but uh, considering the kind of position she was in, but, um, I thought it was a, like a really good book, so yeah. So that's that part. So now I'm gonna maybe hopefully finally finish this book. So, who knows? We'll see. Okay, hi guys, until later. It's 9.31 p.m. I finished the book. Um, I think it could have been the better because it was dragging quite a lot. Like, there were times where I thought it could have been finished. Right at that point, so it's, it was dragging a bit. I did not like slowly, and her actions, she must have kept letting on Cornelia, and she basically treated her like trash. I did not like that. Um, but it definitely moved really quick from Saint Dominique to Patty's. I wish we had more of Saint Dominique, but. Um, oh, but, um. I think I'm, um, the, the writing was pretty good. I did like the writing. I did like, I only like Gaspard, so, who is Sylvie's brother. I don't think we have ever figured out what happened to Sylvie's father. There was only like mentions of him, but I don't really know what ha actually happened to him, so, there's that part. Um, but, um, I thought it was okay, so I. I still wish we had more of St. Dominique, but it was a heavy read with all that execution and slavery, so keep that in mind if you want to read, but otherwise that is it for this video. Um, it was very interesting just to know more about your zodiac. I think everyone should do this, but so they know what they read and what is, you know, just to be, fam just to be familiar, so yeah. So City of Girls definitely displayed confident, loyal, and fears. So, but, but for the Mademoiselle Revolution, it was more 
so soft and that was so a little bit loyal but just some traits in there as well but yeah so otherwise that is it for this video i hope you like it uh, please like comment subscribe so you'll be notified every time i post and i will see you in my next one bye